Hi, sorry. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I, I love this show so much. Oh. <laughs> I do. So hi, my, hi. <laughs> my first question is for you, Ms. Yuren. Um, Quan is a survivalist without spoiling a lot of things. We're gonna go with survivalist. Yes. Uh, she loses a lot of things. Um, but I was wondering, there's a lot of things that happen within the first episode, especially to this character, all at once. Yes. Will there be a time and a moment for her to process it all? For her to breathe. Yeah. There is a time for her to breathe. I will say that. I'm not going to say when, mm -hmm. but she does She does get a bit of a reflection, a bit of a lesson, um, and she's able to channel everything that she's grieving and her anger and her frustration of this world and these people around her, the covenant, and channel it into something stronger um, for herself. Can you say what she gains from any kind of relationship with Master Chief? Um, I think she gains a little bit of closure um, with Master Chief. And I think she also has a little bit of like, there's someone out there in space. And I feel like I can always call him if I need to right. kind of ends that way <laughs> that's, all I that's all she said okay for you Jen I loved you through the video games and now we have you for this series you're the connective right. tissue of it all you bring the video game aspect into now this tv world and so for you I wanted to know what was the most important aspect of your relationship or Cortana's relationship with Master Chief that you wanted fans and people who've never played the series to know it's an interesting um, budding respect for each other, right? I mean, they both are so powerful and um, need each other in the end. You know, in the games, we, we recognize that pretty early on. This takes a little bit longer to help us find that for them to learn to respect each other. Um, and I want the I want the audience to know that I am just as powerful as Master Chief. Yeah, Cortana is just as strong and mighty. Say one more time. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you've kind of been in the of this character for so long. Was there anything with this adaptation that you wanted to change, either through the approach, through the voice, anything that you can say? Oh, that I wanted to. Um, you know, things are slightly different. That's all I'm going to say. Things are a little different. Um, her origin is slightly different, as you know, from seeing the first couple episodes. Um, so, and that was fun to explore. Uh, and her motivations are different. And to me, that was enough, frankly. I, you know, I, I, she's such a marvelous character and I'm so in love with her that it's, and it feels so comfortable to step back into her little AI shoes, um, but it's fun to get to do different things as Cortana, you know, to have these different experiences and to do them in a different way. So that was a fun, exciting challenge. Yeah. Right. So for both of you, if you could sum up Halo in one word, what would you say? Badass. What would you say? <laughs> Uh, 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 chaos. <laughs> <laughs> work. It has chaos. That works. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to speak to you both. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a great day. You too.